A new proposal from the Florida Department of Children and Families could shake things up for a delicate part of the child welfare system. That department wants to move child protection investigations from some sheriff's offices back under the department's control. Eight on your side's Trevor Sahaki is live in Tampa. And Trevor, what does this mean for families dealing with the department right now? Well, Jack, Allison, hopefully not much, as long as this transition does go smoothly and those investigators transfer over. Now, some backstory here. More than 20 years ago, seven different sheriff's offices around the state took on the responsibility of these child protection investigations in their respective counties. But not everyone right now is on board with this switch back. The Florida Department of Children and Families is planning to take over child protection investigations from seven sheriff's offices around the state. That's according to a new letter obtained by Eight on Your Side from Department Secretary Siobhan Harris. It says, quote, our child welfare system has evolved. Today, there is a renewed commitment on prevention-focused programming and integrating this function with existing crisis-oriented systems to provide better outcomes for families, end quote. I don't think it's the best decision right now. Former State Representative Sandy Merman sponsored the original bill that put the investigations into local hands. When someone walks in with a badge to... Um, uh, from a call, a hotline call. I mean, it has a lot more credibility. Locally, Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, and Manatee County Sheriffs had a contract with the department. In a statement, Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri said, it really is a state responsibility. It's not a local level responsibility. It just makes good sense. He added, what worked 25 years ago isn't the best model right now. We think it's a really good move on the part of the department. Robin Rosenberg is the deputy director of Florida's Children's First, a nonprofit helping at-risk kids. DCF was hampered in their ability to make uniform policy across the state because in those places where sheriffs didn't want to follow the policy, they didn't have to do that. The department's letter says it will work with the Florida legislature to make a plan for the transition. There's no exact timeline. It just says in the coming months. And according to Rosenberg, the key for a smooth transition here is that if all those investigators doing work for the sheriff's offices just move over to the department and do their work there. And like I mentioned earlier, there's no exact timeline here. It's all very fluid. Live in Tampa, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side. Affects a lot of people, Trevor. Thanks.